I got a crazy text a couple weeks ago. You could do that the whole time, huh? Maybe the craziest text I've ever got. All right, let's see here. I was filming a video and I had just started the cameras and then I saw it. What? Hold up. This is the moment that I saw that text, the reason for this video, and the reason I'm back in New York. Here's a crazy sentence. I'm about to go record shopping and meet Questlove. So a question I get on here a lot is like, who is this guy? Or like, where did this guy come from? So let me answer that right up top. So first of all, what's up? My name's Brandon Shaw. Some people call me B Shaw. I don't really put my name in videos because I'm just trying to focus on the music, but that's led to some uh, well-meaning people being like, love the video, Diggs. Or like, oh, great remix, Mr. Diggs. And I mean, all respect to actor Tay Diggs, but don't. I started playing music when I was a kid and just kind of kept going. Now I'm a freelance musician, primarily playing bass and DJ played a lot of different music with a lot of different people like a million different people you would probably have never heard of and at least one that you probably have if you watch my video on Nas's song New York State of Mind there's a surprise at the end of that one I've also done a lot of music related things like I had a blog and a podcast for a while about being a professional musician I guess I had a book too I tried to do an app at one point I don't know I've done too many things at some point a couple years ago I started making these music history videos for a couple music brands or other channels these were fun because a lot of these were all me I would research it I would write it sometimes I would do voiceover and I would animate the whole thing you know this brand wants to showcase that this artist or that artist use their product at some point so that's what the video would be about and as I did this more and more I started to get better at it and I started to wonder what would it be like if I had my own channel what if I did it completely my way I put myself in the video and I did it on music that I actually personally love so on April 22nd 2022 I published my first video to the Dig in the Greats YouTube as I've posted more videos and the channel has grown, I've started to get companies reaching out asking if they can sponsor videos. And this is something I try to be really intentional about because I don't want to talk about the complex music production happening, the lyrical symbolism, the historical significance of it, and then be like, here's some random pills. That was actually a real one. I mean, they didn't call it random pills. I'm calling it that, but I'm not going to do that. So this company called Whatnot reached out and said they wanted to sponsor a video because they were doing a live stream auction with Questlove where he's going to be auctioning off some records from his personal collection for charity. And at the end of the stream, he's going to pick one winner to go record shopping with him at A1 Records in New York in celebration of National Record Store Day. What a mouthful. That's a no-brainer. I've done multiple videos on Questlove, The Roots, Soulquarians. Fits right in line with what I'm doing. But that's not this video. I made a whole other video about The Roots and how one chord in the next movement kind of explains The Roots. This video is because of the text that I got at the beginning. Whatnot invited me to come also. So, all right, let's go. I mean, that's it, behind the van. Maybe if I go from the side, it's not a whole lot better, but it's right there. As part of this Record Store Day Questlove promo, Whatnot did an additional live stream with the winner. I'm not the winner, I'm just tagging along for the ride.
First off, A1 is amazing. If you're ever in New York, go to A1 Records. Questlove has said it's his favorite record store in New York. It's easy to see why. The place isn't huge, but there are so many records. It's floor to ceiling records. They did the live stream in the store, but they didn't actually get that far. There's just so many records, and Questlove knows so much. It's crazy. And Questlove didn't want to be filmed directly, and I get it. But for me, the coolest part was just getting to meet him and shake his hand and let him know how much I love his work. Plus, I got records. Again, shout out to A1 because they have an incredible selection. Most of the stuff they stock is not just like your standard run of the mill, brand new vinyl. It's mostly used, mostly rare. We got a common Ghetto Heaven remix. We got a De La Soul promo copy of Buddy. We got some Tom Brown, Run DMC, a bunch of Tribe remixes of Oh My God, a promo copy of The Payback by James Brown. Some early roots for you. I mean, I had to. Ultimate breaks and beats. We want to talk about music history right here. And of course, some Fade Live. The guys at A1 were super nice. They knew the channel, which is crazy, and I gave them a few stickers. National Record Store Day is technically today, the day that this video is coming out, but you can make it Record Store Day anytime. Records are amazing. It's like holding a little piece of history. It just means more than streaming. So go buy a record at a record store, either today or tomorrow or any day you want. Thank you to Whatnot for the ability to come on this trip and meet one of my musical heroes. To A1 for having such an incredible record collection. And to Questlove for just, I mean, being the man. And then for a deep dive on Questlove and the Roots, go watch this video where I break down the song, The Next Movement, one chord in particular that kind of explains the roots. Mm -hmm.